What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and today what we are going to be talking about is something that I'm very passionate about. It seems like a lot of people are also very passionate about it, but passionate about it for the wrong reasons. I'm talking about OTAs, uh, voluntary mini camps, and things like that. And I'm going to talk to you about why us as fans just need to just stop. Just stop paying attention to it and stop trying to make more storylines out of things that there are absolutely no storylines for. So ladies and gentlemen, this is why us as fans take OTAs and voluntary mini camps way, way too seriously. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, hit that intro. One to go up top, dumps it off, cross the middle, four down. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. So first of all, let us discuss the obvious one storyline that actually came out of OTAs and actually came out of voluntary minicamp, and that is Telvin Smith. I understand that Telvin Smith's situation is rare. Like, that was actually a situation. But before then, people were all on their high horse talking about how I have a reliable source talking about how Telvin Smith will get traded to the Jets for a fourth round draft pick. Oh my god. You guys don't know shit. And that's the thing, is that us as fans, we need to step back and realize that we have no idea anything that's going on inside that locker room. And it's not fair for you guys to go, and me, myself too, you know, I'm a fan as well. I'm not saying that I'm an insider and, you know, I have all this knowledge and that, I know more than you guys, but I'm a fan too, and you know, I speculate just as much as the next guy, but I don't act like I know what's going on, you know what I mean? I mean, there may be some speculation in your head, but that doesn't mean you should go to Twitter and talk about how Telvin Smith is such a bad player because he's taken the season off. You have no idea what Telvin Smith is going through. There's, he hasn't announced anything, you know, I obviously he knows it's for personal reasons, and that's why he's taken the year off. We know that part. But you guys have no idea what exactly it is that Telvin Smith is going through. You know, it could be something so ultra super serious and you guys are out here on Twitter talking about how you should be playing football. You know, stop caring about your family. Start playing football. You get paid to play football. You're in the NFL. Quit being monsters. Like, sit there and realize for a second. If you were at work, right? I'm not saying this is what happened to Telvin Smith. It's just an example. Say that you're working, right? And one of your family members pass away, right? Say that happens. You know, you're going to go up to your boss and say, hey, I need this time off. You know, one of my loved ones just passed away. I need to go to the funeral and, you know, take some time to rest and really sleep on that. And, you know, your boss more than likely will say, all right, I completely understand. You take that time off. You know, you need to heal, heal, come back in about four or five days a week or so. That's the same thing that's happening with Telvin Smith, and it's obviously something very, very serious if the guy is taking a whole season off. This is just like work, you know? Like, if you have something going on in your life, and you feel like you are not mentally prepared to work, you don't have to work. You know, you shouldn't be having to work. If you don't feel like you're mentally prepared, then don't do it. You know, Telvin Smith is already a guy that's been through a lot. You know, his brother got shot and murdered, and he played in a game. You know, that probably fucked him up. That probably fucked him up real good, you know, knowing that your brother got shot and killed, and you are playing in a football game. Like, could you imagine that? Could you imagine the stress that puts on a man, like, knowing that your brother is dead, and you are out there playing football? And, you know, yeah, that happened, I think, one or two years ago, But, like, even that is just, like, an excuse enough to probably miss a season or do something like that. You know, if a guy needs to get his life in order, let him get his life in order. Don't be internet trolls and talk about how that he needs to play football because that's why he's paid millions of dollars, you know, to do is to play football. Don't be that guy. I repeat, do not be that guy. Like... I hate going on Jaguar Facebook and going to any Facebook page and seeing, you know, I love seeing the people that say they stand with Telvin Smith because that's awesome, you know, and I think more people should be sharing that kind of love, talking about how they stand with Telvin Smith and, you know, every, not everything is football, you know, there's more to life than football and, you know, we stand as a community to support Telvin Smith in his time of need, but the people that, you know, look at this like he's just a football player 
and talk about how we're fucked next year because we don't have Telvin Smith, all this, all that, and the third, you know. Please just step back, breathe, and realize that this is a real fucking human being, and he is going through a lot. You know what I mean? Like, again, we have no idea what it is, and I don't even think Doug Marone or any of the coaching staff knows what it is. The only person that knows is Telvin Smith, and I'm just saying go easy on the guy. Like, this OTAs, it shouldn't be about us making stories about all these players, right? So, like, today. Today is a perfect prime example. You know, Telvin Smith was a good example. Because it's obviously the most popular one and the one that has had everybody talking, you know what I mean? But a one good example is the thing that happened today with Nick Foles. Nick Foles left OTAs today due to a personal reason and you already got people on the internet speculating what it is and talking about how, oh yeah, we don't have our quarterback playing, he's leaving OTAs, uh, voluntary OTAs and he's not showing up. What kind of leader is that? Shut up. Literally, shut up. It's for a personal reason, and the coaches let him go. It's, a, it's just like how I talked about, you know, with somebody passing away, or if you're going through some grief, your employer should be able to let you off to go through that grieving process. So if Nick Foles is going through something real, and he needs to grieve, and he needs to get out of there and go see his family... Let the man do that. Don't go on Twitter speculating about what this could be or what this means for Jacksonville or what this means long term. Like, don't even worry about that. It's still May. It is literally May 28th. The season doesn't start for another 100 days. Don't act like just because Nick Foles missed one day, one day of OTAs, and it was because he had to leave for a personal reason that... A, he's either getting traded, or B, he's a bad leader or a bad quarterback, and he needs to get some discipline for not going or staying through a whole OTA. You know what I mean? Like, that is just beyond dumb, beyond stupid. And, you know, as fans and as people, we need to stop doing this. Because it's it's getting old, and it's getting bad. Like, I hate it. I hate logging into Facebook and seeing all this shit. When I logged into Twitter this morning... All I saw was stuff about Nick Foles, some people saying just what happened, and some people speculating, getting mad at Nick Foles for leaving practice. Like, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. We as a community, we need to support our boys and make sure that they are 100% right in the head to go on to the field. And if what they need to do is leave football for a little bit, come back, then that's what they need to do. Support your favorite football team. Don't look at them like pieces of meat. Don't look at them like just these famous football players. These are people just like you and me, and we need to start giving them a lot, a lot more respect and a lot more of the benefit of the doubt. And I really hope that this video, if you're one of those people that constantly talk about how Telvin Smith is a bad player and that he shouldn't have to take a year. I've seen this one post on Facebook, right? I've seen this post. I was like, Telvin Smith has time to rap in his Instagram stories, but oh, he's going through such personal problems. Fuck you. Fuck you for saying that. If he's having a good day and he wants to rap on his Instagram story while he's still going through some shit, the man could rap on his Instagram story. Like, this is just so beyond dumb and so beyond silly that it's just making us as a fan base look bad. And we need to stop doing it. Let these players do what they need to do. Don't even care about OTAs. I really don't. The only time I start caring really about Jaguar football is when training camp starts. And, you know, we go really in-depth into training camp. And even then, it's too early to even really get excited about football, you know, about the next season. Don't even worry about these voluntary mini camps. People to this day... To this day, though we've had Jalen Ramsey on this team since 2016, people still get mad when he doesn't go to voluntary workouts at Tom Coughlin. Like, all these people are just like Tom Coughlin. They're all old people that that just, they don't understand. Like, Jalen is training. He does this every year. He's gone training with his dad. He, you know that's what he's doing. And you're still bitching about it. I don't understand. Like, just don't even worry about OTAs. Don't worry about minicamp. I wish that the media wouldn't even cover OTAs or minicamps. I wish that was just inside the football team. Like, they know who goes and they know who don't go. And it's not a big catastrophe. You know what I mean? 
And I understand that we are in a dead period of NFL football right now, and everybody's looking for something to talk about, but why don't we talk about things that this team's going to do well in 2019? Let's not talk about these players and what they have going on in their personal life that is so bad that they can't play football. You know what I mean? Let's not focus on that part. Let's focus on the excitement and how ready we are to watch Jaguar football again. And this is just something I really needed to get off my chest. I hope a lot of you guys see it, and I hope a lot of you guys agree with me. Uh, Make sure you leave a like down below to support Telvin Smith and Nick Foles and to show that all those people that care way too much are silly, silly boys. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button. And that was why you shouldn't care so much about OTAs. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Von Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody at work with me. Them are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.